standard 7 chapter 13 physical and chemical changes look at the pictures on the screen we often observe different changes taking place in our surroundings these changes take place continuously at times we are not even aware of these changes around us let us see what changes have taken place in the materials shown in these pictures. As you can see the first picture over here. In the first picture a cracker is being lit. The second picture shows you where the raw cherries are being ripe. The third picture shows you wood that is burning and turning into ash. The picture over here shows you some ingredients are being added to milk, I guess to in order to make pudding. The picture over here shows you how a seed germinates into a seedling. And finally this picture of an ice cream shows you the ice cream it gets melted after some time. Now we have observed these changes. And these changes and many other changes continuously happen in our surroundings. Before we classify these changes, let us understand the meaning of the word change. So let us see what is a change. The answer to this is the transition of a substance from one state to another is called the change of state of that substance. The transition means the transformation of a substance. So a substance changes, transforms from one state to another state. So this is called as the change of state of that substance. Now let us study the different types of changes. Let us study the first type of changes. Natural change and man-made change. Now natural change means changes that occur in our surroundings naturally they occur on their own got it so these are called as natural changes whereas the changes that occur in the surroundings due to human activities are called man-made changes now let us watch the examples of each so here are a few examples of natural changes a fruit getting ripe. So you can see here a strawberry is getting ripe. So this happens naturally. The second example shown over here is that of rainfall. And the third example shown here is that of a bud blooming into a flower. So all these things happen naturally in our surroundings. Thus they are called as natural changes. Examples for man-made changes would be a campfire. Here you can see the wood is being burnt. So this is done by man. It doesn't happen naturally. Right? So this is a man-made change. Now, making bread is also a man-made change. And the third example is that of a bulb over here. When you switch on the bulb, okay, it's a man-made change. The next type of changes are useful and harmful changes. The words itself will tell you what is a useful change and what is a harmful change. So changes that are useful to us are called as useful changes. Whereas the changes that create harm to us or which are not useful to us are called as harmful changes. Examples of useful changes as you can see in the pictures is a sharpening of pencil and making food are useful changes. Whereas rusting of pans. Now these pans are made of iron and after using them for few years they start rusting. Now what is rusting will come to that later on in the next part of this chapter. So rusting is an harmful change whereas cutting down trees is also a harmful change. Slow and fast changes. 
again these are very simple changes that occur over a long period of time are called slow changes okay they take a little longer time to happen so these are slow changes whereas changes that occur in a short period of time are called as fast or quick changes let us check the examples for each blowing a balloon would be a slow change the second picture shows you an example of the seeds that are being germinating okay they're growing into seedlings so this also takes a pretty long time it doesn't happen quickly so this germination of seeds is also an example of slow change now in the last slide we saw the slow change and we saw an example of balloon now blowing of a balloon is a slow change it takes a little longer time to blow whereas to burst a balloon it happens very quickly isn't it okay so that's an example of a fast or a quick change similarly the second picture shows you crackers bursting of crackers okay so this is also a quick or a fast change the next type of changes what we are going to study about is reversible and irreversible change now let's study what is a reversible change changes that occur in a forward and reverse direction again and again are called reversible changes so one example over here could be that of stretching a rubber band see when you stretch a rubber band in a forward and reverse direction again and again it comes back to its original shape right so this is a reversible change then what is irreversible change changes that are permanent and cannot be reversed are called irreversible changes that means once the change takes place you will never get your original item back okay so that is a that is an irreversible change check this example see when you burn a piece of paper okay it turns into ash now you can't get your paper back right so this is an example of irreversible changes let's watch few more examples of reversible changes melting of wax melting of ice cubes and melting of chocolate are few more examples of reversible changes irreversible changes examples could be ripening of fruits as you can see over here the cherry and the tomato whereas another example is that of wood that is being burnt turns into ash so these are examples of irreversible changes the next type of changes are periodic and non periodic changes so let's understand what is a periodic change changes that occur again and again after a regular interval of time are called periodic changes for example rotation of earth revolution of earth the day and night all these occurrence of tides all these could be examples of periodic changes right they occur after a regular interval of time whereas the changes that do not repeat themselves after a fixed time interval are called non periodic changes so let's check out the examples for each so as you can see sunrise and sunset are the examples for periodic change another example for periodic change is high tide and low tide the occurrence of tides it happens after certain interval of time the occurrence of seasons is also an example of periodic changes let's check let's check the examples of non periodic changes so the floods that take place during the rainy season are non periodic changes right because they don't occur after a certain interval of time earthquakes 
and volcanoes are also examples of non periodic changes similarly the bird sitting on a tree flies away is an example of non periodic changes